So right now we are going to talk about five of the most disappointing and terrible shooter games made in recent memory, or at least since 2017. This is all going to be my personal opinion, you don't have to agree, but it is obvious all of these games had pretty high expectations before they were released, and it's more than fair to say those expectations were not met. With that being said, I will start it off here with Call of Duty World War II from 2017. I really did not mind playing this game, but it obviously did not live up to expectations. This game was supposed to be the one that brought the Call of Duty series back to what it once was. Obviously that did not happen, which is a huge understatement. It was nothing more but a supply drop game that also loaded you into matches hella slow. Between that and the crappy maps and the various problems on the game, including that god-awful launch which is probably the second worst launch I have ever seen for a video game, only second to the Battlefield 4 launch. Matter of fact, when World War II was released, that first week, I couldn't even play it. It pretty much took them 10 days to make it playable for everybody because quote-unquote, there was too many players trying to play the game when it was released. Which is a flat out joke if you ask me. I mean they had three years. Three full years to prepare for the one game that they were working on. And nobody was prepared for the servers to be overloaded. You really cannot make this shit up. This game did have a decent campaign. But it was overall a very disappointing game because of the high expectations and the bad multiplayer. Moving on to PUBG on console. The console version is terrible. Can't sum it up any better than that. It still crashes on you randomly to this day. And of course, this game was, and always will be, great for PC and geared for the PC players. Especially when it came to the looting part of the game. And to me, just for the record, I love how PC players were bitching about the little things on the PC version when they would not last five minutes on the Xbox or PlayStation version because of all the issues. Not even five minutes, guaranteed. We had to deal with so many more problems, so many more issues, and we still do. And it's a shame, because this game had such potential. It's already one of the most bought games in history, and yet the company that made it could not do one thing right. It could have been so much more and so much better. I believe it's number five in all-time video game sales already. They had the entire world in their hands, but the console version was purely a money grab. And they just ruined it. They didn't care. I play it every once in a while now, but that's only because of the recent coronavirus situation and because no good games have been made recently. But if it wasn't for that, I would not be playing this at all ever again. Going forward to Battlefield 5, let's start with the opening trailer. The opening trailer with the whore that had the bionic arm was a great way to market this game. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I thought this was supposed to be a World War II game, but no, 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 no. I guess this was supposed to be in the time frame of the year 2050. So that was one hell of an idea. And as far as the gameplay aspect, I thought it was horrible. And really, for the whole first year, it had nothing but glitches all over the place. That first year was so bad. It was one for the record books. And for a game that was a main titled Battlefield game, it should have been way better. I played the game professionally, and I'm still sitting here telling you it was a trash game. It was not a fun game to me at all, which is why I will never touch this crappy game ever again, thank God. And remind me, how long did it take them? Almost two years? To release the big Pacific DLC? Yeah, uh, that took long enough. And also, EA coming out and disrespecting the fans and even telling them, don't buy the game then. What can I say? They really do have some terrific people working at EA and DICE. And as for anybody that still plays this game and likes it, all I have to say to them is, Haha, you have fun playing Hamada. The worst map in the history of Battlefield. Congratulations. You can have fun with that shit. No thank you. I'm done with that. Moving on to the most recent game I'm going to mention. Call of Duty Modern Corner Camp Warfare 
2019. Holy shit, that's one long ass name for a video game. Okay, so what can I say about this? I love the claymores. I love the loud footsteps that make it impossible to run around. And I love how people play on this game. Just laying down, laying on their little twat for 10 minutes at a time. This was a great investment. I mean, I paid $63 for a game that requires you to play against PC players, at least on the Xbox version for Warzone, who have a higher refresh rate, great accuracy and timing only because of the mouse and keyboard. What a great idea. I mean, that's totally balanced and totally fair. Oh, and I guess now everybody thinks it takes skill to spam RPGs 24-7 in Warzone and sit on top of a fucking building for half the game like a goddamn pigeon all goddamn day on the edge of a rooftop just waiting for some poor motherfuckers to come cross the street. Not to mention using the baby monitor all the time. Yeah, what a great game. What a great game. Best $63 I ever spent, I can tell you that one right now. And they made the Battle Royale free later on, which defeated the entire purpose of even paying for the motherfucker in the first place. So this game did not live up to expectations at all. The standard multiplayer is absolute trash. Warzone is not much better either. Matter of fact, I can't even talk about this game anymore because of all the exciting moments behind it. It's got my blood pumping even more right now, so we're going to go ahead and move on. And the last piece of shit game that I have to put on here that did not meet any expectations is Star Wars Battlefront 4 from 2017. This game killed the Star Wars Battlefront series. EA completely murdered Medal of Honor. They took a nosedive with Battlefield because of Battlefield 5. And Star Wars Battlefront now, thanks to this game, will simply never be the same regardless if they do make another Battlefront game or not. And oh, by the way, this game was the definition of the words false advertisement. When you looked at the trailers for the game before it came out, they made it look like it was all about the Empire, especially when it came to the campaign. And guess what? It wasn't. And the multiplayer was terrible. This game had the worst map in the history of the Battlefront series. Endor Research Station 9 on the game mode Strike in particular. It might have been the worst design map in video game history. Of course, right next to fucking Hamada from Battlefield 5. Glitches are still all over the place. The crates or supply drops, whatever you want to call that, were the number one way to unlock everything. It took them another year and a half to buff up the heroes. And this shit was even more pay to win than Battlefront 3. I don't care what anybody has to say about that. I spent $10 on the season pass for Battlefront 3. And I spent $85 for the special deluxe edition on this game that came with a laser trip mine, two crates, and something else that might as well have been a fucking polo shirt, okay? We're done with the video now. If you made it this far in the video, I don't know how the fuck you did because I sure as hell can't believe I spent time putting this video together talking about some of the worst, disgusting, and most disappointing games made in recent memory that still give me nightmares just thinking about playing them. So there you have it. I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.